Hi, this is David McCamp for WebTNG. This video, I'm taking a look at ZipWP. ZipWP is a new WordPress website builder. It's not a page builder, it's not a theme builder, it's a full site builder. In the video, I'm gonna do a walkthrough of the free version and talk about some of the features, what I know of that's coming in the pro version and then at the end of the video, I'll have some discussion about where I see ZipWP fitting into the overall WordPress ecosystem. So this is the ZipWP website. You can see that on the homepage, they have a form to join the waitlist. There's already more than 25,000 people on the waitlist waiting to get a chance to try this out. A huge number of people, very great interest here. Here's a video with Adam Preisler, one of the co-founders of ZipWP. Here, for example, they talk about some of the types of websites they'd be able to build. A look at some of the templates. Okay, some marketing content. Some FAQs here. ZipWP is from the Brainstorm Force development team. This is the team that creates the Astra theme. Astra is the number one WordPress theme with over a million active installs, more than 5,000 five star reviews, and five star rating. Okay, Brainstorm Force also makes some Astra starter templates. And so what this does is it gives you some starter pages for your website. And we see that this also has more than a million active installs, a very popular tool for getting a quick start in building a website. And they also make Spectro, which is a brainstorm force Gutenberg block collection. It has more than 30 Gutenberg blocks. They recently released a pro version. Spectra has more than 500,000 active installs, making it the number one most popular Gutenberg block collection. So what do we see here? We see there's a theme, we see they have templates, and we see they have block collection. And that, I believe, has formed the basis for their ZipWP website builder. They've leveraged the synergy of their ecosystem I've gotten access to ZipWP. This is the alpha version, so I'm sure things will change. I know for certain there'll be many more additions. When you log in, this is where you have your account information. This will be where you can go for help, but right now it's a contact form. Here you have a chat form. Starting off at this point, you get 10 free sites and 10 gigabytes of data. This is actually quite a bit of data because most of these free starter sites are gonna be much smaller than a gigabyte. There's gonna be an option to invite team members. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a premium feature or in the free plans. There's a mention of a Chrome extension. And my understanding with this is that maybe some point in the future, say you were contacted by a client, you can go to their LinkedIn page, go to their Google My Business or other information about them, use the extension to scrape or gather information, and then use that information in ZipWP WP as you build a starter site for them. Here you can create a blank website or a complete website. In the future you'll be able to refer friends to get more than 10 sites and this will be a help but right now I think it also goes to the contact form. Here's an interface for looking at all of your sites. A blank website I think you would use for something like testing plugins. A complete website, that's what we're going to do our walkthrough of. And a custom website, we'll come back to this. I think this is going to be a pro feature. By default, your websites, I think we'll see that they expire after 24 hours. So there is an option to mark a site as quote unquote permanent, which I think will give you more time. Then there's an archived sites menu item. Okay, so let's go ahead now and do a walkthrough of creating a website. So we see here right now they have these categories and you have a choice of the language. Huge number of languages here. I'm not certain, but I'm guessing it's all the languages that WordPress is available in. 
Now, this isn't very many categories yet. I think they're going to be adding very shortly a large number of additional categories of types of websites. So what you see when you get access will probably look a little different than this. For the sake of testing, I'm gonna go with person. I'm going to enter my name. And I'll just put in here, I'm a WordPress site builder, provide SEO and copywriting service. Let's say site designer, provide SEO and copywriting services. I serve book authors and other creative entrepreneurs. Okay, so let's continue. And then we get some images here that they're suggesting. I don't want this. I don't want a typewriter. I can see how people might think that that relates to copywriting or something, but doesn't do much for me. Then we go designer. You see what's done is it's picked out some keywords here. Okay, so we have color swatches. I think maybe I should change this and say web designer and see how it lets me customize that. We have SEO, so I'll choose this one. Copywriting, let's go for books. I don't know if there'll be anything creative entrepreneurs. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so we have a team collaborating. All right, so we've got some images here. And let's go continue. Let's fill in information. And we'll add some social media accounts. I'm just going to put a fake link here. We'll do Twitter. And let's continue. So now it's saying it's choose the structure of your website. And so I guess it's giving us some options here on the home page, maybe. This one looks kind of interesting. It's a little dark for me. Maybe. Okay, let's go continue. Let's build the site. I'll just keep my eye here on about how long that takes. There's a little progress circle here. Okay, so I kind of sped up video here, you know, cut out the weight, but it was under two minutes, so not too bad. Now we have two options to visit the website and see kind of the front end or to go customize. Let's go and take a look. Okay, it's saying, remember this is not a public uh, site yet. This is kind of what it created for me starting out. And, you know, custom designs, SEO optimization, compiling copywriting some testimonials. Okay, get started. We go look at the top here. We have an about page. We have a offerings page. Okay, with our services. And a quote. And we have a contact form. Okay, so a basic site with one, two, three, four pages. So pretty cool. Let's go now and look at the site in the back end. Okay, here's a cool feature. This kind of reminds me of the block-based themes, you know, the, the color options and block-based themes. So we've got this blue-green here. We can go with a blue or an orange, okay, or yellow. So that's nice. And then there are font pair options. Okay, so we can try out different fonts and see what those look like. Okay, so I kind of like that one. Okay, and then we can save. Okay, and we can go into the dashboard. Let's see what the update is. Oh, they've got a new version of Spectra. So they've installed the free Spectra plugin and then SVG support for images. And the theme, it's got the free Astra theme, no surprise there. If we go then and look at posts, there are no posts. 
If we look at pages, we have about, contact, home, and offerings. If we look at the contact page, we see this is the contact form that comes with Spectra, the free Spectra block plugin. Let's go and get this form. So here's the confirmation message, the error message, okay, actions. So you'll want to put your own email address in here, obviously. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. If you want recaptcha options, you'll need to set that up as well. So there's still some things to do here. You can leave the images that they have, or you can replace those. So let's say that we're pretty happy with our four page website and we want to export that. So let's see how that works. Can add the all in one WP migration plugin, which is a free one. It does have a limit on how large a um, site you can export in the free version, but I'm guessing this is gonna be way under that. So we'll go file. Okay, 99 megabytes, so pretty small here. And I'm just going to download that. Okay, and so that's downloaded. All right, now I've got a testing site here on my local computer, okay, that I just installed. Let's log in there. Okay, we see this has, you know, the core themes and it has these plugins, we'll get rid of them. We won't need those. And now I'm gonna add the all-in-one migration plugin. Okay, and let's import the site. Let's grab the file. Okay, and we're gonna log in again. And now we are going to need our login credentials. So we're gonna need our username and password. So perhaps I should have customized those before uh, exporting. All right, so let's see what we have here. Here is the website. It Looks like it all came over just fine. You see how easy it was to import it. I'm not sure why we have this. I've noticed it with a recent version of WordPress. That seems to persist even after updates. I'm not sure why that is. Okay, but anyway, there we have our quick site. Okay, now let's go back to the ZipWP interface. Here is all sites. Okay, and you see this option here, mark permanent, doesn't expire automatically. So I can save that and it won't be gone after 24 hours. If I remove that, you see it's got 24 hours before it's deleted. Now let's talk a little bit about what I know of that's coming in premium version no surprise that the premium version will give us more sites and more disk space. One of the things that'll be coming with the premium version is custom websites. So you saw how we got a four page website, really easy and quick. And so what the custom website option will do is you'll also get the ability to create your own sitemap type of tree of pages. You'll be able to add the page titles and customize the content for each of those pages. Okay, so that'll give you a lot more options there. I believe you'll also have the option to create e-commerce websites using Surecart. And in the future, I think there'll be the option to create many other types of websites like a membership site or an LMS site or a booking site, things like that. Okay, they're really planning to build out this service. So there's a lot more that'll be coming and we've probably just scratched the surface of what ZipWP will look like in a few months.
Okay, but as far as I know, the walkthrough we went through to create our kind of brochure type of site, that will continue to be available as a free option for users. Okay, so we've done our walkthrough. I'd like to talk a little bit about where I see ZipWP in the overall ecosystem. If you look at the marketing materials for ZipWP, it says that it's a revolutionary change in how WordPress sites are made. But the way I'm thinking about it, it seems more evolutionary. Let me explain. Before page builders, you picked a niche theme and it had limited layout and design options. Use the classic editor and customization required a power user or developer with a knowledge of PHP. Then came page builders and you had a lot of flexibility to customize the layout and design using drag and drop and visual point and click options. Many sites can be built with low code or no code using a page builder. Now with ZipWP, you can create a good first draft of an entire brochure site in a matter of minutes. No code required and even just a minimal knowledge of WordPress. This all has been very cleverly accomplished by the ZipWP team by leveraging their top ranked products, Astra, Astra Starter Templates, and Spectra. This is a great example of product synergy. It's pretty clear that in the short term, this will transform how brochure sites are made. Individuals will be able to make their own starter site and it'll simplify the build process for freelancers and agencies. ZipWP blows open the market for creating brochure sites. The ZipWP founders are very excited about this project and they have plans to leverage other products like Surecart for simple e-commerce sites. And they may even create new plugins for LMS and booking solutions. So ZipWP as a project has legs and we can expect continued expansion into the future. Another way to look at ZipWP is that it transforms the famous WordPress five minute install. Instead of ending up with a blank website after the famous five minute process, you now have a full starter site in maybe just two minutes. So that's my walkthrough and my thoughts about ZipWP. There's a text summary of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other resources. If you found the video interesting and got something out of it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It makes a big difference. Thank you for watching.